Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Mike Mazaros, and I testify that this presentation is my own work. The painting I selected was 1957, D number one, by Clifford Still. This painting was created in 1957 and represents the color field style movement. I was assigned to the color field art movement, which began in the 1940s. However, by the 1950s, this style of painting became more influential. Color field painting made its mark during this time from its unique characteristics. Large fields of flat, solid, and abstract color stretch across the canvas. Color field paintings do not have a central focal point, giving the illusion of an enormous large field of color. Artists like Clifford Still, Marth Rothko, Barnett Newman, Robert Motherwell, and Adolf Gottlieb are some of the more famous artists that painted in this style of color field. In the painting, 1957, D number one, large fields of various solid colors are present. Various colors of formless shapes are used in Still's painting that are not drawn from a straight edge, making the shapes distinctive in both size and form. The color field style is represented through the overlapping of colors and the tensions of the colors and shapes. The shapes in Still's painting both merge and submerge into the colors around them. Not only was the color field movement prevalent in the 1950s, but numerous literature movements, music-related events, and social changes were also prevalent in a similar relation to this movement. Literature played a major role during the 1950s in getting writers to create stories that were appealing. Writing about outer space, aliens, pulp fiction, experimenting with drugs, or even alternative sexual fantasies began to emerge and become popular among readers. Writers felt they didn't get a chance to create stories from these topics, so they broke away from tradition. William S. Burroughs' novel, Naked Lunch, published in 1957, is an example of this style of literature. The novel is broken up into vignettes, meaning the chapters can be read in any order. This specific style of writing is known as beat fiction. This novel relates to the color field style movement. Both the vignettes and the color field style do not have a specific flow to them. However, they are both abstract. This novel was about drugs and the author's addiction to them, which broke away from the traditional styles of writing, similar to how the color field style of art breaks away from traditional styles. While popular music, country music, and jazz still continue in the 1950s, music began to change and new musicians began to emerge. Elvis Presley made himself known by combining rock, gospel, and romantic ballads. Presley's interpretation of songs and sexually provocative performance style broke away from traditional styles of music. Country music DJs did not play his music because it sounded too much like an African-American artist, while none of the R&B DJs would play his music either because he sounded too hillbilly. This blend of genres became known as rockabilly. This new genre influenced the civil rights movement because both African-American and white teens can enjoy this new sound of music together. The musical style during the 1950s is related to the color field movement because of how Elvis used rock, gospel, and romantic themes to create a sound that was different from the traditional musical styles of the decades before. The 1950s were thriving from the baby boom generation. The economy was booming, new jobs were created, and better wages were implemented. Soldiers returning home from World War II played a big role as baby boomers. Government issued benefits to soldiers, providing cheaper prices on housing, making it easier to buy homes in the city. During the 1950s, women were convinced their main goal was to raise a child. However, books were published that urged women to head into the workplace. Government spending in the baby boom helped the middle class by giving them more money to spend on consumer goods. Whites and blacks discriminated against each other through transportation, education systems, and other resistance groups. The Civil Rights Movement encouraged Americans to speak their minds as to what they believed in. The color field movement matched the political aspects of the 1950s as it encouraged artists to express their emotions through their paintings. To conclude, the 1950s were characterized as a decade of change. Throughout various literature, music, and socially related movements, people were breaking away from tradition. Literature took on a new look for writers who wrote about topics that sparked people's interest. Writers looked to open up in their work and created unique stories which caused 
people to become more focused on their subject of their work. Different styles of music and songs were also experienced. Rock and roll focused on revamping other genres of music, such as, such as the blues and gospel rhythms. The baby boom generation had numerous effects on Americans. The boom sparked more opportunities to find jobs, allowed for more housing, and gave Americans more things to buy. The boom was also a time where Americans strayed away from norms and spoke what was on their minds and to live a life with more options and a healthy lifestyle. The color field style movement demonstrated a motivation for people to live freely and to not be afraid to express their own opinions. Thank you.